Jack. I've got a great story idea. I was walking to work this morning and I met this 80-year-old man who has the most beautiful rose garden right in the middle of oh, the city. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Old man, roses, boring. Me, out now. Thank you, Tonto, but no. I forgot I promised Margot I'd send birthday flowers to my mother-in-law. Hey, well, I suppose you can always try faking your own death again. <laughs> that was the best 48 hours of my life. <laughs> Oh, that's the private line. Here, you answer it. I'm not gonna answer it. You answer it. You. You. No. Jack. You are going to have to deal with this sooner or later. <sighs> You're right. Uh, hello, Margo. What's up? I... I... I know. I'm... I'm sorry. Uh-huh. You're right. I'm sorry. I need some coffee first. <laughs> Uh-huh. Of course I'm listening. <laughs> favor to ask of you, but please, I don't want you to feel obligated. I mean, if you can't do it, you can't do it. I know how busy you are, and this sure is so last minute. If I had minute, a green card, they would have expired by now. <laughs> <laughs> would you photograph my Nana? <laughs> Just hearing you say the word Nana makes me smile. Say it again. <laughs> Nana. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> anyway, listen, it's her anniversary, and she wants to surprise my grandfather with a portrait of herself. Ah, so well, it would be an honor. Really? Oh, yes, absolutely. In my uh, country, the elderly are uh, treasured and revered. Rest homes are like museums. <laughs> we uh, pay to watch the meat and sleep. Boy, I bet you don't have cable, do you? Uh, yes, but only one channel. All Castro, all the time. <laughs> I would love to. Thank you. Barbara, you can't do this to me. Ba Barbara, don't hang up the phone. Barbara! Oh. I don't believe this. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just that my basketball team is going to be in the playoffs of a championship we've never won, and my power forward is claiming she has pneumonia. Little pansy! Hey, come on, don't you have a backup? Yeah, Sheila in accounting, and she refuses to play. Vicky, she's six months pregnant. <laughs> well, she's seven, but you know, if she doesn't get exercise, that kid's going to be a slug! You know, uh, you never asked me to play. Todd, it's a girls' basketball team. Yeah, have you ever seen me throw? <laughs> Oh, oh, no, come no, on, not come me. on. If I don't find somebody, we're gonna get killed. I mean, you must have played well, a little when I was younger with my dad, but then we had to stop when I got taller than him. <laughs> and really, and how long ago was, was I that? was nine. Okay. <laughs> come on, come on, I'll come back to you. Come on, stand up. Put your arms over your head. We must look like ants to you. <laughs> don't be afraid, little villager. I will not harm you. <laughs> All right, let me see the wingspan. My God, you're like a condor. All right, Grant, meet me at the Union Square Club at 7. Hey, I didn't say yes yet. Oh, come on, what else are you doing tonight? It'll be fun. You can meet new friends. It'll be great. All right, screw it. I'm just begging here. Oh, well, I guess I could. I mean, when I was with Kip, you know, I never had any time to just hang out with the girls. You know, it was always his friends, you know. I'm sure he said there were our friends, but it was really just Okay, you know Kip what? A simple the... yes or no? <laughs> Great, and wear red shorts. It's the Vixens team color. <laughs> Vixens? Who thought of that one? I did. It's catchy. <laughs> Remember, you guys, we are the best team in the league. You know it, I know it, and tonight, the Pistols are gonna know it. Am I right? You're right! Who's the best team? We are! Who's the best coach? You are! I love you guys! <laughs> Vixens! <laughs> Vixens! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late by parking around here. It's oh, I know. Isn't it terrible? Drop and give me 20. <laughs> Why? <gasps> You're late. It's a team rule. Vicky, aren't you taking this a little too seriously? Damn right I am, Missy. This isn't just a team, it's a family. And I'm the tough but loving single mom trying to keep it all together. <laughs> now I've gotten us this far, and as God is my witness, I'm taking us all the way. 
Don't make your mama proud and drop and give me 20. <laughs> I want to go live with daddy. No! <laughs> Over the internet, you got no forward. Oh, yeah? My new forward is right here, Brenda. She doesn't look so tough. 149! <laughs> yeah. uh, another set, coach? Uh, no, 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 that's plenty, Sheena. <laughs> this is good, Nana. This is so good. This is so lovely. It is so charming. This is so boring. <laughs> what? I want something that's going to remind my husband of the woman he fell in love with. Not some uptight old broad whose idea of a good time is a bag of seed and a flock of pigeons. <laughs> so what you're saying is I that... took my calcium. I am not going to break. <laughs> okay, Nana, let's get loco. <laughs> Mother Fargo, I just figured since you were getting so many flowers on your birthday, you might enjoy a little surprise the day after. <laughs> okay, you're right. I forgot. I'm sorry. I am trying to make an effort here. Well, it's just that sometimes you say things that could be construed as being hostile. <laughs> well, well, like that right there. What was that? Piss ant? <laughs> There's no nice way to interpret that. I am, I am not being confrontational. If I were, I'd say, uh, are you going to the Giants game? I hear it's bat day. <laughs> Mother Fargo? Oh. I went too far there, didn't I? Yeah, I think just a little towards the end. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter what I say. The woman looks for things to get angry about. Last Christmas, I sent her this big mallet for pounding meat. She said there was a hidden message. What does she want from me? I think she wants what we all want, Jack. To be held. Get out. So how is she today? Yeah, he's got some real issues. Now his mother-in-law. Among others. So we tell them 
We are the big sin, mighty mighty big sin, everywhere we go, you want to know, so we tell them. Okay, now we all know, thank you. Go ahead, Vicky, tell them how many points I scored. Let's not forget it was a team effort. 23. Hey, not, not bad for your first game, huh? Game nothing, that was all in the fourth quarter. Oh, Suze, what do you know? Underneath that Debbie Boone exterior beats the heart of a much tougher, more athletic Debbie Boone. <laughs> Yeah, she's got some talent. I mean, it's raw, but with the proper guidance, it could be cultivated. So when do we get to see this uh, cultivation in action, huh? Oh, real nice. I've been playing all year. None of you has ever come to see a game. Yeah, this is a chance to see Suze go psycho. I mean, we see you do that all the time. <laughs> Hello, 23 points in one quarter? That's impressive. I suppose. Not quite as impressive as the team record of 24 held by yours truly. On a night I had a cold. <laughs> called to tell me my proofs were ready. Where are they, my little Abaddon? <laughs> right here, and I only hope you're as pleased as I am. Huh? Oh, let me see, let me see. Excuse me, subjects first. Oh, Luis, they're wonderful. Uh, oh, my turn, my turn, come oh, on. Oh, okay, here. Oh, wow, you look adorable, Nana. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love that Chinese robe. Oh, yeah. oh off the shoulder, how sexy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Louise, what is missing from these photos? Oh, I know, I know, a key light, but we were on a roll, so I figured why not. Clothes, clothes are missing from those photos. I'm wearing clothes. I have belts that cover more than that. <laughs> Susan, I don't know why you're so embarrassed. You've taken enough art history to know that the human body is a beautiful and a glorious thing. Yeah, when it's some 400-year-old stranger in a museum, you're my nana. Oh, I just love it when she says that. <laughs> you be quiet. Well, I think these are wonderful photos. I think they're very tastefully done. Oh, yeah? What are those? Boots? I was trying something. <laughs> uh, Louise, do you mind if I take these home? Um, I, I don't want to rush my decision. No, 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 of course we want Grandpa to be happy. Right? Grandpa, Grandpa, what is Grandpa going to think when he sees these? Susan, your grandfather and I love each other as much today as we did the day we got married. And do you know why? Because after all this time, we still surprise each other. Remember that. Uh, she's an amazing woman, eh? Yeah, but sometimes she makes me feel like I'm the grandmother. Well, uh, based on what I've seen you know, when you are a grandmother, gravity will be kind to you. After a win, we go to Miller's tap room and get blasted on beer. It's a team tradition. I can't work up a good buzz on these freaking spritzers. I mean, Sally. Sally. You, you, you left a guy who looks like this? Can I have his number? Yeah, but I better warn you, he's in love with somebody else. Who? You're looking at him. <laughs> Anybody for another spritzer? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Hey. I'm Todd. Whoa, great biceps. You, uh, you work out? Yes, I do. Could you, uh, lift me over your head? <laughs> I'm seeing somebody. Well, could you curl me then? <laughs> Maybe some other time, huh? Here you go, Joe. Oh, thanks. You know what, Susan? My brother would love you. Oh, really? You have a brother? <gasps> yeah. He's a doctor. Ooh. You have a single doctor brother and you never told me? Secrets? <laughs> well, Susan's more his type. Well, maybe I'm his type. A spunky redhead with loads of charm. <laughs> hey, Suze, uh, we need more ice. Oh, well, why don't you just send good old Vicky? I mean, it's not like I'm really involved in anyone's conversation or anything. 
Oh, cool. All right, cool. <laughs> Think at a time like that. There's a loose ball, you go for it. You know, I was in the game too. Yeah, and you were great. I mean, your four points were the difference between winning by 20 and winning by 24. <laughs> and don't you forget it. Oh, come on, Vic, what are you so upset about? So you didn't score that much, big deal. I mean, the important thing is we're one win away from the championship. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Um, I don't think we're gonna need you for the last game. What do you mean? Well, it turns out that Barbara's pneumonia is down to just like a phlegmy, hacking cough. So I'm not playing? Well, you're welcome to come and watch. We'll try to fit you in somewhere. But I'm the MVP. I got the game ball. Huh? What about this? And, and this? I'm, I'm Condor Girl. <laughs> Barbara's back. End of discussion. Believe this. You're just jealous. That's what this is all about. I am not jealous. I'm the captain. I'm doing what's best for the team. Well, why don't we put it to a vote? No, no, there'll be no vote. This is how communism started. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> All for Barbara. <laughs> All for Susan. <laughs> well, you might as well go back to the hospital. <laughs> Waiting for this all week, George. George couldn't make it. <laughs> Who are you? Let's just say I'm a gift for Mother Fargo. Uh, you know, maybe this really isn't such a good. <laughs> just say thank you, pissant. You were great out there, Sue. Oh, thanks, you were too. Well, we couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you guys. Hey, we're still on for dinner next Tuesday night, right? Right. right. <laughs> Two weeks from today, you're my maid of honor. Don't forget. Oh. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Is it broken? Non-displaced fracture. I'm sure it'll be fine after surgery. <laughs> hey, Vicky, I'm sorry. When I jumped off the guy's shoulders, I never saw you. Uh -huh. Come on, this is stupid. I don't want to fight with you. We won, didn't we? No, we didn't win. You won. Come on. You were the one that begged me to play on this team. I was only doing what you asked me to. Yeah, well, you did a little too well. Like you do everything. Well, you got it all, don't you? The looks, the height, the talent, the attention. My whole life, I've been Ethel Mertz. <laughs> sure, everybody loves Lucy. Why doesn't anybody love Ethel? When is it Ethel's turn? <laughs> Why didn't you say something sooner? Well, everyone was cheering so loud, I don't think you would have heard me anyway. Man, I would really love to just... <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, if you're so angry, why don't you just go ahead, snap the towel? But I'm telling you, it's no way to solve anything. Yeah, you're probably right. Ow! It sure makes me feel better! <laughs> That's for having a charmed life! Hurts. Yeah, too bad. That's for getting a promotion after you dumped the boss's brother at the altar. That's not fair. Oh, tell me about it. That's for getting a free cookie from the deli guy every day at lunch. <laughs> don't blame me. I don't even like desserts. <laughs> You're being a big baby about no, that. Yes, you, you are. are. You are. Come on. What? Oh. You want the towel? Go on. Go for it. <laughs> What's the matter? Glitch in your charmed life? <laughs> I hate you! So my life 
life is so perfect, huh? Well, you try being a foot and a half taller than every boy in your class. The only time a cute guy ever talked to me was to see if the part in his hair was straight. <laughs> you try being called Bean Pole or Lurch or World Trade Center. <laughs> and, then, and then when you're too shy or embarrassed to even say anything, suddenly you're Susie Stuck Up. Oh, forget it. I am not going to like you. No, of course not, because then you'd have to admit that you were wrong. You know, I was never even asked out to my senior prom. Oh, I went with a seventh grader. Oh, baby, I'm people, I'm people, I'm large. thought nothing bothered you. Everything just rolled off your back. Well, it doesn't. Yeah. Well, nobody's ever gonna know unless you tell them. I just did! I just did! All right, all right. <laughs> I guess I just thought people that looked like you had it really easy. I don't think anybody has it easy, Vicky. I'm sorry I took over the team. That's my fault. I'm the one that cultivated your killer instinct. <laughs> Did you really not even go to your senior prom? Yeah. Loser! <laughs> well, at least I didn't go with a seventh grader. <laughs> Do you know, he never even called me again. Don't you just hate that? Yeah. On the way home, I even let him steer. 